This will be your final performance here at Ballet Austin. An accomplishment, I think, of the number of years you've spent here. Oh, I hope so. Uh, this is my 16th year with Ballet Austin. It's my 20th year dancing professionally. Uh, so it's, it's been a good run. I'm uh, about to retire and go into a school for physical therapy down at Texas State. I was lucky enough to get accepted there and get a, a scholarship there. And so I will be spending the next three years in school full time again. <laughs> uh, what were the last 20 years like for you? Oh, wow. <laughs> In interesting, yeah. I mean, I've you know I've had I've had a great great run, um, and and a lot of luck with with the opportunities I've had here and when I was in Kansas City before joining here, and I met my beautiful wife <laughs> while dancing here, and we've we've worked in the company together for years, and I get to dance with her for my last show, which is an amazing amazing opportunity. Right, and Jamie Stephen mentioned that <laughs> this is. Um, that both you and Frank have lived out this love story <laughs> of Cinderella. Um, it's a love story, and yours is a love story. What's it, what's it like for you? Um, it's something I never thought. I mean, if you'd asked me when I was 18, are you going to marry a dancer? I'd be like, never. But it's been <laughs> the best thing that ever happened to me. And we have a daughter as well, and um, she'll get to sit in the audience with her family and hopefully remember her papa. <laughs> oh, I think she will. How could she not? Remember? How old is she now? Uh, she just turned five. Mm -hmm. She just turned five. Yeah. Okay. And she'll and be at every show. <laughs> <laughs> um, your final show is Saturday night or Sunday night? Saturday night. Saturday night. Um, I don't know if you can even, both of you put it into words, but that moment when um, it's the final, like the final scene for, for you, mm -hmm. and you take, you come out of the curtains, it's curtain call, and, and you take a bow. What what do you anticipate that you will feel? Do you even oh. know how do you thought about it? But you're, maybe you're oh. just too busy working. You know, I think about it a lot, actually. I try not to, uh, but I do think about it a lot. There are going to be so many different emotions going on, joy, sadness. I mean, I, I think the whole range is going to be there at that moment because while I'm excited and happy to be going into something else, it has been the a central part of my life for 20 years so it's going to be a little bittersweet jamie anything you want to add about cinderella about the ballet oh it's, it's a, a story that everybody mm -hmm. grew up with and I, and when i say everybody i mean <laughs> centuries and yes. cultures because because mm -hmm. it has been rewritten in in other cultures yeah many times over um it's what's it like playing that role the role of cinderella it's great. I mean, it's challenging and intimidating to try to put your own spin on something that has been around so for so long. Um, but I love the opportunity to make a character and to make something different. You know, Frank has actually been the prince. This is his third time. This is my first time being Cinderella. So we've gotten to work and to kind of find those moments of, you know, of love and of falling in love at first sight and um, all of that and really make it our own. And it, the ballet actually ends with a duet with Cinderella and the Prince um, is the final thing. So I feel really lucky to be able to, to be there with him <laughs> and in my that last moment. Question, how, how do you get into the moment? Does the costumes have a lot to do with it, the process? Because we will mm -hmm. uh, be, be seeing some of the costumes today. Okay. That must be a, a big part of getting into character. Um, I think yes and no. We spend so much time um, without that you know actually like I well I did have my costume fitting on the first day so I already know what all of that looks like and feels like um, but a lot of it is just our connection and for me it's the music the symphony is playing live and um, that energy is always wonderful there's also children from the Academy involved and they had rehearsal yesterday which is so sweet um, they're so excited to be able to be on stage and so all of those elements like the music the costumes the lights and just the energy from the audience really it makes those moments on stage something completely different, an experience you could never have in the studio. 